Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your humble voice actor, Davy Moo Dash Sky Roseblood, or should I say, your daddy figure, as to how everybody is treating Sky in a sense. However, um, I know I sound all groggly and this and that. Uh, it's kind of not an act. I... I've been having a lot of pain in my throat for quite a while. And I haven't figured out to what it is or what could possibly be causing it. And... I don't want to leave people hanging on the improv, and I am, I am surely working on it. I am writing a script for it because, not to say that I'm running out of ideas, which I am not at all whatsoever. It's just with the move and looking for another job in an area where I typically spent most if not all my childhood in before moving to Connecticut <clears throat> sorry like I said my throat kind of hurts and I don't understand what exactly is going on so just bear with me however I do want to say I do have a uh a uh, monster energy drink one of the juice flavors the pacific punch that i've been nursing for quite some time since i came into work at 12 o'clock um i'm not trying to sound like i said i'm not trying to sound groggy or anything on purpose it's just i've been having a lot of pain with my throat um i did do a little reading as a teaser to part seven like this just goes to show you that just because whatever is going on with my health is not going to stop me from you know wanting to do what i need to do but i'm not going to be i'm not going to become one of those tortured artists who just gives up everything you know sanity their own physical health, their own mental health, their own uh, verbal health, everything. I'm not willing to give that up. I'm just saying I'm willing to cope with it and work through it alongside getting things done. Because at certain points, during days of when I'm like sick, my voice could sound a lot deeper. Which could work out in the sense... For me, because it could sound even more meaner, it could sound more menacing, it could make Sky sound menacing, it could make a certain other character sound menacing, it could make another character sound with a deeper voice, which would, you know, it, it would kind of altercate with the, the characters. I don't want to say that through it all, it's going to be, you know, all sunshine and rainbows and like i've gotten with the comment section this is also going to be a little responding to the comments as well um sorry if my voice goes a little faint or sounds a little screeched well not screeched or sounds like a little high pitched and scratchy um i'm not trying to talk too loud because a lot of i talk the not the worst the pain that gets, just the more vibrations that go through my throat cause me a little more pain. But I'm still going to keep up with the improv, just at a slower pace. Um, to answer a couple of the comments... I do want to say that, for one, 
to get into something like this, I want to say that there is a roundabout way of getting into it because there's also a way you can't get into it and I want to say that with getting into the idea of the improv the idea of ASMR the idea of script reading or story reading it's not something that <clears throat> sorry it's not something I want to say that a lot of people can get into. And I also want to say it's something that's incredibly easy to get into. Because a lot of people don't or aren't aware of how to project their voice in a way. And they look at it and they're just like, man, I can do that. I can voice act. And all I can say is, yeah, go ahead, go for it. And it is something that can be taught, trained, you can go to school for it. Obviously, a lot of these voice actors slash actors and people in general have gone to school and have gotten the education in order on how to act a certain part or voice a certain part for example let's look at steve blum he plays a very important part in the call of duty zombie series he plays as tank dempsey both young and old tank dempsey he also plays as the animated wolverine he also He's he's played a lot of parts. I I also came to learn that he's also played a part as Starscreen in the old Transformers animated show, and he's also played as a Star Wars character in the uh, the Clone Wars series or the animated Clone Wars series, and. I just find it to be incredibly impressive. I've also followed other people, such as, you know, icons as Nolan North, Troy Baker, uh, Mark Hamill, uh, Robin Williams, you know, a bunch of people, you know, more or less in the video game aspect. And with the way they kind of, I mean, to really look at it, I kind of look at Troy Baker a little more than I do Nolan North because Nolan North yes Nathan Drake Nolan North has such an iconic voice it's just he doesn't really change it up and I'm not saying that because you know I'm not really going to change up Sky or if Sky does come into play you know he's in a different type of story you know he's going to sound the same that's obvious or as far as a different character, have I tried working on altering my voice and making up voices? I have, multiple times, and you know, as all YouTubers were entertainers, so you know, embarrassment comes at a very high cost, so I do want to say that I have tried different voices, such as high-pitched voices, um, low-pitching, not not like with a voice mod, like actually like altering my voice in ways that, you know, could sound different. And I haven't really gotten too far with it. I've also tried accents as well. And, you know, that that's only gone so far. Uh, if you look into my old channel content, you will see that. Or my live stream content, you will see that me and a couple of, po a couple of pals or 
what I like to call the boys at the time, we used to do like a lot of the like British or Australian type of uh, accents. And some, if not all of it, was kind of offensive. Not really. It wasn't really meant to be offensive. But as far as voice acting goes, I want to say it's it's both something that's easy to get into, but incredibly hard to master unless you've had the experience. Then it comes at an easy pace. And I don't want to say that, you know, just because I have experience with voice acting and acting in general... I don't want to say, like, you know, I'm better than the average person. I'm not. And I do want to say that... I do want to say that, you know, I'm here to help, you know. If you need help with anything, you know, I want to help out. I want to make sure that, you know, you're getting to where you need to be. And I know for many that's a bit far-fetched, but most need to understand that that comes from a heartfelt place and not just a discord server um as far as other comments i do love the comments where it's this this role play is turning me gay or something like that and i'm just like you know man great if it's altering who you are, amazing. I love to hear it. Let's hear it. Because all of it is just too great to me. Or uh, one comment after I uploaded the sixth part in the improv series. Uh, no, daddy, don't go. I love it. I love seeing all these comments. All your comments bring me joy. Even when it's, like, repeated watchers or viewers that are making comments, I always love seeing them, and I will always comment to your comment. I was always thumbs it up, I will always heart it, and if it stands out and makes me laugh and it makes my coworkers laugh, man, all the better, and I will pin that, and it's just, oh, man, I love it. I love seeing those comments. Just don't get too risque, because... You, you gotta keep it a little PG for the community. Because there are some comments that I've had to delete. Oh my god. <laughs> there are comments that I've had to delete. And I almost spilled my drink on me. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there are some comments that I've had to delete. Because some of them have been a little risque and against community guidelines. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want my comment section to get turned off. I love communicating with you guys. And I love being a part of my community. And I love just getting and making up these ideas from just the comments as well. Like half of like the things that everybody has commented on my videos have been a part of my videos have been a part of the new content, have been a part of new episodes, and it's just fantastic. Such as this whole police idea with Officer or P.I. Fox. And, you know, it's it's wonderful because the whole idea of, like, involving a police force in the universe, it would make sense because where exactly are the police during this time? Are the police even investigating where these women are going? Like, and it's and it's made me wonder. I was just like, hmm, you know, that would make sense because why not put a police force in it, or why not put somebody who's essentially invas investigating a ghost? And I thought for the longest time, I was just like, man, that would make sense. And during a uh, a daytime walk after work. I had come across this yard sale where I bought this little triangular looking uh, speaker and I had come across the fact that it had a built-in speaker 
And I thought, wow, that's pretty impressive. I came back, ladies and gentlemen, shadowlings and captives alike. Um, kind of fell off topic about what I was talking about because I, I'm also at work currently right now. And I ran across a rude customer. I'm like kind of short. I'm 5'5". I'm five five, and the counter is kind of long. So it's hard for me to like reach over and grab the item. So I could scan it. And people don't understand that. As much as I tell them. Like hey man I'm kind of short. I can't reach that. And then they're just like, will you want me to put it on the counter for you? I'm like, yes, please, put it through the window so I can scan it. Make this process easier for you and me. We're convenient. Convenience means in and out. That's it. <laughs> Not a lot of people get that. But anyway, um, getting back to answering some comments, or just, you know, just putting my thoughts and opinions into some of the comments... Um, one here from grades are just numbers. I understand that you're incredibly shy towards the way I can formulate my words in order to make the average female become bequeath by me. Uh, I just want you to realize that it's all me just being in character, replying to your comments as Sky and as just myself sometimes as well. And I want you all to understand that it may look like flirting, it may look like this and that, and I want you guys, uh, I want you guys and girls to understand that. It's nothing but an act. I'm not trying to indirectly flirt with you. To be honest, I'm not really flirting with anybody. I'm just playing my part. And I don't want anybody to think that, oh, you know, I'm just targeting one person individually. Even though being in character, I do want to attempt that at some point even though I've already have <laughs> throughout my comment section but at the same time reading over the second comment to this person uh, grades are just numbers as as like I said in answering them in character it's just one of the many traits and you know I am incredibly fun and you know I do like formulating words that betroth a lot of people and it's fun to see how people interact and fall in line with sky and just to see how like each and every setting changes for each and every indiv individual person sorry it's like really late and it's almost four in the morning so I'm kind of slurring on my words a little bit here and honestly, I don't mind being friends throughout the comment section with everybody. Just understand if you are underage, I will not comment on your comment. I know that doesn't make sense because I wouldn't exactly know that. But then again, like I said, my content isn't really marked for children, but it doesn't stop children from watching my content. Just understand that when things get a little better and with the help of everybody who is subscribing and with each and every subscriber, the content just gets better and better. The ideas get better and better. I know I said that I was slowing down on ideas and actually writing out my uh, scripts. It actually does help with most of the improv because I can write out lines and then improv it from there and then it could just lead back into the lines. 
So it does help out a lot, actually. But getting back to the comment section, I really do appreciate uh, my darling audios for the. I will say I will call it a donation and I will thank her for becoming the first member uh, I do feel bad that <laughs> I do feel bad that you had to pay like three dollars and some change because of tax and I was trying to get it to the lowest amount and for some reason it wouldn't let me put it as 199 and I don't really want people to pay a membership to me because I feel like it's a bit unfair because I want my content to be available. I don't want it I don't want to hide it behind a paywall or only do half of the content and then the other half of it you have to go to Patreon and pay me this amount in order to watch the rest of it. I feel like that's a bit scummy. And you know, some voice actors, I'm not going to name I'm not going to name them because I don't really feel like putting them in the description. But some that I have been watching, such as some females, such as some males, they do have content that they will do for like 30 minutes or like, I want to say maybe like 15 to 30 minute videos. And then it'll cut off and it'll be like, it'll come up with this prompt, it'll blur everything, it'll prompt you to go donate to patreon and i get this is what they live off and this is what you make a living from and i understand and i'm not bashing you for that and if you got like an actual job fine and dandy cool great for you more to more power to you um alongside that i do want to state that i do feel in my opinion it is a bit scummy to see content creators such as voice actors asmr artists and this and that to have their comments or no have their content behind a paywall or have half of it behind a paywall whereas you want to see the rest of this you got to go to patreon you got to go to you got to be a member or this and that and i don't honestly want to continue the idea it is a refreshing thought and a tall sip of water but at the same time i just find it more appropriate to get to a thousand subs that way i can actually make my money in an honest fashion through hard work instead of begging people for their money and to be honest with you i don't even know how to refund those uh those three dollars <laughs> I've been trying to look it up since throughout the uh, the Google fact, and I can't really find anything that says that I can do that. And if anybody can, just you know, please uh, comment it in the comment section. Like I really, really want to give you back your money. Like that was kind of like, yes, I worked towards it and I earned the partnership, but at the same time, it just makes me feel scummy because I don't want to hide my content. Like. I want it to be accessible to everybody, no matter where they are in the world. Even though I know YouTube will probably at some point, like, block my content in certain countries for whatever given reason that may be. But, yeah, like I said, it's just, I want my content to be accessible no matter what. Do I want a Patreon? Yes, I do. Do I want people to donate to the Patreon? I would rather take donations than asking people to be than asking people for money that way they could support me. That way it can make better content because in reality I feel like that whole spiel just with the way they say it it just it makes me feel like it makes me feel slimy. It makes me feel disgusting when they say that. And I know they're not saying it to say it like that, and I know that most of that money, if not all of it, goes towards, you know, uh, donation centers, um, 
you know, upgrading their equipment to make better content. You know, I understand that. That's understandable. That's what I want to do. I want to get better equipment. I want to get a better living arrangement. I want to be able to, you know, wake up, get straight to recording, editing, and, you know, posting videos. But not constantly. Because, you know, sometimes you, you do have to take a break. But then, you know, I was watching this person and they're just like oh if you take like a week off the algorithm you know makes your content unavailable or at its peak of being noticed and i'm just like that's okay if you just simply look up anything that has to do with yandere or what is popular you'll probably see one of my videos pop up which is pretty cool because it, it, it is interesting to see it pop up as a trending thing in my feed. And like I said, I just I appreciate everybody, especially throughout this this channel that, as I've said many times, and even in postings and descriptions that this channel has been nothing but a hobby and I don't want it to be a hobby I want it to be something more and with this content of just being a voice actor and this type of content being attracted to people it it makes me attracted to making the content it makes me determined to making this it makes me want to bring such things to you people and it's just it's a great feeling and the only thing i could say is and it's it's great to see that people like the abuse in verbal form i mean i hope nobody out there is getting abuse and getting abused or in any sh way shape or form sorry like i like i said i'm sorry i'm stumbling on my words i'm pounding an energy drink now and it's giving me something <clears throat> but I also want to thank Olive for the script that she emailed me I want to say it's a very lovely script and I'm hoping that with what I've done with it and the work that I've put into it that she enjoyed it, she loved it. I've read the comments, I've hearted all her comments, I've hearted everything that she said, liked it, pinned it. Actually, no, I don't think I pinned it. I should pin it. But I enjoyed it. And it was nice doing my first request script. And I hope that she does continue it, and when she does, she emails me about it, and I can push this vision of how she sees Sky in the direction that she wants. So, keep it up, Olive. I loved your story. It was great. It was amazing. And I hope to see a continuation, because I would definitely love to see what Sky does next to the captive especially with those <laughs> those uh that knife he's got but alongside other things um i have volunteered my time to my darling audios uh not quite yet in that sense um i have agreed to do a collaboration with her when the time comes uh don't know exactly when that's going to be but patience is of the means so whenever she is ready i will be ready and hopefully everybody will love what she comes out with please do go watch what she's got she's got something pretty interesting going on with this whole cyberpunk thing and the edge runners kind of story and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So, go check her out. I'll put a link in my description so that you guys can go and 
check that out. Lovely, lovely person. Lovely, lovely voice. And, um... As far as... Everything else is going... Um... Getting back to the whole members thing and trying to refund people their money. Uh, the members thing was kind of more or less a test. And, you know, I do appreciate that YouTube is allowing me to be a part of their partnership program. And I'm I'm very appreciative of it. And I am working really, really hard to keep it appropriate. Even though my content in general is not appropriate. Well, in verbal form, it's not appropriate. But that's the entire idea, that it's just verbally spoken words and insults directed towards nobody. And an idea to make a imaginative story play or role playing scenario for people to be a part of. Like an interactive pick your own adventure storybook. Except, this adventure you really don't get a choice in. But, with that, I just hope that YouTube understands that it's all words, it's nothing physically harming people, it's nothing that's going to go too overboard. There may be a bit of spice here and there. I don't want to say that, you know, a lot of it is going to be incredibly spicy. But I do want to involve what I did with that one hour extended cut or that almost one hour extended cut. Anyway, before this video gets any longer, it's already up in the 30s. I want to say I appreciate everybody. I want to say that thank you for keeping along with me and my new content. Thank you for showing me that this channel isn't just a hobby. That it can actually become something more. Thank you for all the support through both my one single paying member... Um, I do hope you realize that when I figure out how to refund the money, I will refund the money back to you. I do appreciate it. I don't want you to think that it's a negative thing or it's an insult towards you. No, my darling audios, I appreciate that you donated to the channel. It does help out, even though I can't really cash it out quite yet. Um... I don't want anybody to feel pressured by the membership thing. Understand that the membership is a completely 100% optional thing. It is completely 100% up to you. Um, by far, I don't know if I'm going to upload videos to it because, like I said, I feel like putting videos of what I do and my content behind the paywall makes me feel slimy and scummy and I know most of y'all are gonna probably be like no Sky or Davy Moo we don't feel that way about you and you shouldn't feel that way about yourself it helps support your channel and helps you move things along and get better equipment and I understand that but I'm just a really humble person and I just want to create content that's gonna be available for everybody regardless of where you are in the world and i want to make sure that that content doesn't ever get put behind a paywall regardless of who i bring along regardless who comes to be a part of the channel you know but like i said once i figure out how to refund the money i will surely be getting it back to you um like i said Donations are completely 100% up to people. I don't expect them. I'm never going to ask you to donate. I'm never going to ask anybody for money. I'm never going to ask anybody for anything. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, that's where I'm going to really be putting in the hard work to earn that paycheck. To earn that money. 
And I don't want to feel slimy about earning it. But like I said, um... I want my content to be available to everybody regardless of where they are in the world at any given time. Donations are always welcomed. They're not recommended. They're not forced. They're... I almost want to say... Actually, I do want to say that they're not even welcomed. But they are appreciated, and they do go to good things. And with whatever I earn in the future through hard work and determination will surely be because of every one of you. I want to deliver great content. I want to deliver free content. Because remember, this is YouTube. Content should be always free. I know everybody and their mother is trying to make a buck, but honestly, let's be real. YouTube has always been a free platform. Let's keep it free, ladies and gentlemen. And that's that's what I strive for, free content. And I just want to say that, you know, I love you all, and I appreciate you all, and I appreciate every single person that subscribes. So, thank you all. Thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you all for supporting my content. And thank you all for making me realize that this isn't just a hobby. So thank you.